Hello guys, I am Asit and you are watching Tech Fusion and in this video I am going to give you an overview on how to make Android apps and we are going to have an overview on the tools required to make uh, our first Android app. So without any further ado, let's get started. So after watching this video, uh, you will be able to start uh, making your first Android app and you will have a basic knowledge on the Android development uh, community and the uh, tools that are required to build uh, your Android apps. So uh, in these tutorials or the forward tutorials, uh, upcoming tutorials, I'll be using Eclipse as a studio and not as, not the Android studio as Eclipse is more simple. So guys, let's get started. So guys, you'll need uh, two files mainly. One is the Java development kit and the other is the Android bundle which has the Eclipse. Uh, so both uh, the links of the softwares are given in the description below so you can go and download it from there or else you can download it from any uh, other trusted website also so first of all uh, we'll need to install this java development kit i have already done it just so just open this file and just click on next and follow the instructions and your java development kit will be installed the next thing to do is extract the android bundle i have given also winrar in the folder zip file that, that is in the link in the description below and just extract the android bundle so you'll get a folder naming android bundle and you'll have the eclipse sdk and the sdk manager so we'll have to open eclipse and this is the main file eclipse.exe so let's start it so it will take around uh, two to three minutes to start depending upon the speed of your computer so now this is asking for the workspace so uh, this is the folder in which all our apps will be created all the data of the apps that we make will be created So make sure you have to ch uh, check it out and just click ok So guys, uh, this is the workspace and uh, our Android um, Eclipse uh, studio has been running is being running so what you have to do is first go to file and you have to click new and select android application project so this is uh, the thing where we are going to start and um, so let's name our first android app as our first app so the application will name will be first app and uh, let me tell you that you can't change this later on so just make sure that your application name is like decided from the first and the project name will be first app and this is the package name so this is the thing that uh, that is used to verify that the developer is you and uh, it it is shown in the play store so the minimum required sdk is froyo and it's compatible with jellybean minimum uh, android devices so click next so create activity yes so create custom launcher icon yes mark this project just click on next make sure that the location of the workspace you have chosen is equal is the earlier workspace that you've chosen because all the android apps that you create will be saved in that folder only click next so this is creating the android app and now we have to browse a launcher icon so in this case you can upload a image of for your application or you can have a text or you can have a clip art so in this case i'll just add a clip art icon so let's add uh, this android device so this will be our logo you can change the color if you want like if you want a red so you can have like this as the logo and you can also make this square or circle as you want so let's click next so now uh, it's telling us to create an activity so there are three options here blank activity full screen activity and master digital activity so we'll choose blank activity i'll just tell you what is activity uh, after this process finishes so just click next so activity name uh, is to be main activity or main activity dot name is the layout okay so navigation type just keep it as none for the basic stuff uh, as this is our first uh, android app and just click on finish so guys what uh, activity is is basically it's like a uh, like 
in analogous to a website it's like a web page so there are many web pages like there are many pages like about us contact us home so activity is like same uh, thing in android app so if you are opening a call 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 dialer app so there are main, mainly three activities in it first is the dialer second is the call logs and third is the contacts so i hope you have understood what activities you will understand it uh, later on like more easily uh, so guys after creating the activity and we have clicked finish uh, there is a sample code generated over here this is the basic code that have that has been generated auto generated by the application so there are now two files generated over here one is the main activity dot java so basically this is the java file in which we are going to do the coding the main coding like uh, if we click any button then what will happen so we are going to do the coding over here in main activity dot java uh, thing and there is another uh, tab called as activity main dot xml so we'll click that and as you can see there is a graphical user interference and this is basically the stuff uh, where you have to program on the graphical user interface so it means that how your app will look to the uh, normal user so if you are so if you want to add a button over here so you'll just have to click on button and just drag it and drop it here so after you are adding the button so and after the app is um, been made then this will be the graphical user interference that your the user will see on the main activity so that's the home activity and this is the user interference that the user will see on this um, on your application so now there are two tabs over here in the activity main dot xml xml file graphical layout and one is the activity main uh, there is a normal text layout so this is the graphical layout this is the text layout so we'll just click on text layout and as you can see there is a small amount of there is a code auto generated and as we as you can see as we have added a button over here and if you double click it then it will go to the um, coding part of the xml file in which uh, there has been a small code which any user can easily understand so as you can see uh, the id of the button that's the android id is button 1 so we can link this button 1 in the java file so that we can easily control the programming part with the xml part i hope you guys are understanding it is a bit confusing but when we start making our first app you'll understand this uh, now as you can see the android layout width so this is the layout width that's a wrap content so this is the basic stuff that you need to understand that what's in this xml file so basically xml file is the file where uh, you customize uh, the part that the user sees so that's the graphical user interference that's that's the basically the part that the user end user will see after the execution of your application so there are many files that there is a button there is a checkbox there is the progress bar in text field you can add text like plain text custom text you can there are layouts there is composites etc there are many things in here which we are going to use soon so let's go to the activity main xml file and uh, let's check it out so this is the text view uh, this is the button so if we just change this android.txt to hello and just control s we'll press it to save and we'll go to the graphical layout you can see the there was button written on this and it has changed to hello so this is the basic coding that you can you may require uh, to edit your android application and uh, it's very simple like it's not that tough uh, to learn android apps because uh, i have actually learned it in within two days and i can now develop like good amount of android apps with good graphical user interference and good coding so this is the basic stuff in android apps and uh, as you can see uh, this is the first app so there has been a folder created in the first app and there is a src there is a source file in which your java file is located so the source file is where your main programming file that's a java file is been located 
and we are coding as we are recording it in java so the the extension for this file is dot java and the xml file is in resources as you can see or it's outside the resources and dot manifest dot xml this is the xml file and uh, this contains the permissions of all the android apps so if you want to control the permission like if you want to access the calling feature or the access the messaging feature for the otp or the one time password then you can edit it in android manifest.xml so i hope you guys have understood the basic tools that are in the eclipse uh, application uh, with which you can develop your android uh, application so in the next video we are going to develop our first android app uh, with uh, using uh, with the usage of these features so hope you guys enjoyed it if you want uh, to get the update of the next video make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, thanks for watching guys